Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web security policy to block a distributed brute force attack, which typically comes from a botnet, over multiple IP addresses. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced WEF Demo Number 28, which covers configuration of a login page element, and enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting the same username, using a capture challenge. Demo 29, which covers enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting the same username, using client-side integrity. And Demo 30, which covers enabling brute force protection for attacks targeting multiple usernames, from the same source IP address. This is demo 46 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to simulate a botnet, which will be used to submit brute force attack requests from multiple IP addresses. These requests will arrive at the F5 big IP system running advanced WEF. The big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can identify when a distributed brute force attack is underway, and begin challenging all login requests, and can block the request from the botnet, before they're sent to the back-end web servers. A malicious user has discovered the password of an internet user named Bob Smith. To gain access to their private data, all they need to do is identify this user's personal username for different web applications, as most internet users use the same username and password across all web applications. This text file contains thousands of combinations for this person based on their first, middle, and last name, all using the same password. Most internet users use some form of these details, when creating their personal usernames. The malicious user will use this file, to attempt a brute force attack, for the user's personal user account username, in the hackers and web application. Keep in mind that this file could contain thousands of username, password combinations. We'll use a tool named Sentry MBA, to submit the brute force attack. Notice that this tool is already configured with the hackers and login page, user slash login. We'll open the text file containing the many username, password combinations. We'll now run the brute force attack. We can monitor the attack's progress, however, after a few seconds, the progress and word list positions no longer increase. In addition, no username, password combinations are being discovered in the hits tab. We'll abort this attack. We'll now try and log into the hackers and web application on this same workstation, using a web browser, and a correct username, and password. Although we're using valid credentials, the request is blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF as this workstation is being recognized as the source IP address of a brute force attack. Let's use a different workstation. And again, attempt to log into the hackers and web application. Using the same username. And password. Currently, only the source IP address of the brute force attack is being blocked. Let's examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.43. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 41, brute, security policy. This security policy includes brute force attack protection for attacks coming from a single IP address. 
On the Login Pages List page, we'll select the existing login page element for the user slash login URL. We already created this login page element for this security policy. A login page element is needed so that Big IP Advanced WEF can identify successful versus failed login attempts, and Advanced WEF needs this information to prevent brute force attacks. Let's examine the Advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log file to show only blocked log entries. There are thousands of requests that were blocked from the brute force attack. Notice they're all coming from the same source IP address, 10.1.10.199. When we select a blocked log entry, we can see that the mitigation was alarm and blocking page, and the source of the brute force attack was 10.1.10.199. This IP address will be blocked for the length of the maximum prevention duration which is 60 minutes by default. We'll delete all the log entries. We'll now simulate a distributed brute force attack, where the attack requests are coming from multiple source IP addresses. We'll open the virtual server resources page. and then add an IRL named Brute Sources. This IRL modifies the source IP address of every incoming request. In Sentry MBA, we'll start the Brute Force attack again, using this option to start the attack from the beginning of the word list. This time, the Brute Force attack continues to progress through the entries in the word list. Notice that all requests are returning with HTTP 200 response codes. Eventually, the malicious user finds the victim's personal username, bobsmith at yahoo.com. The malicious user will now try using this newly discovered username with the password they previously found. Through the distributed brute force attack, the malicious user succeeded in finding this victim's personal username. They could now test this username and password on several other web applications, such as online banking, e commerce, and social networking. Let's reload the event log. The distributed brute force attack generated hundreds of legal requests from multiple IP addresses, all coming from the same region. We'll filter the log file to show log entries of only successful logins. We can quickly see which usernames were discovered during the distributed brute force attack. We can also see how many attempted login requests failed. And the usernames that were attempted. We'll now protect this web application against distributed brute force attacks. We'll open the brute force attack prevention page and select the existing brute force configuration. We already configured brute force protection for the user slash login page before we started this demo. However, we only included protection for attacks coming from the same IP address. This is why the second brute force attack succeeded. In the distributed brute force protection section, we'll select to enable detecting distributed attacks, and we'll also configure a threshold of 50 failed login attempts. For mitigation options, 
Big IP Advanced WERF can present the user with a capture challenge or perform a client-side integrity check. After 50 failed login attempts, within the detection period of 60 minutes, we'll select the Alarm and Capture Challenge option and then save and apply the policy. We'll start the brute force attack once more. After about 5 seconds, the progress and word list position both stop. No username and password combinations have been discovered. We'll now use Firefox to access the hackers and web application and then log in as a valid user. We're presented with a capture challenge. We'll enter the capture challenge, which is case sensitive. Non-malicious users can continue to access the web application, even during a distributed brute force attack. Let's use the second workstation to log into the hackers and web application. While the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy is experiencing a distributed brute force attack, all users are verified using a capture challenge. In the event log, we'll use the filter option to view only successful login requests. There was only one successful login during the distributed brute force attack. This log entry was generated when we entered the correct capture challenge. We'll now view only failed login requests. These log entries were generated before we hit the threshold of 50 failed logins, and the capture challenge mitigation began. We can also filter the log file to view only challenged requests. There were nearly 2000 challenged requests. Notice the enforcement action is capture. These are the requests from Sentry MBA that were sent the capture challenge, but failed to submit a challenge response. You can see from this icon that these are indeed challenged log entries. We've decided to change the mitigation we are using for detected distributed brute force attacks. Instead of a capture challenge, we'll use the alarm and client-side integrity option. This will cause Big IP Advanced WEF to send a browser JavaScript challenge to the client. If the client request is unable to respond to the JavaScript challenge, the request will fail. We'll start the brute force attack again. Once again, after about 5 seconds, the progress and word list position both stop. Notice that new requests are now returning with HTTP 421 response codes. We'll once again use Firefox to access the hackers and web application and log in as a valid user. Notice it takes a couple seconds for the page to load. This is because Firefox is being challenged by Big IP Advanced WEF. However, the Firefox web browser successfully passes the JavaScript challenge. Let's view the Big IP Advanced WEF brute force attacks log. This page contains extensive details about distributed brute force attacks, including the attack type, the number of detected failed logins, the number of detected login attempts, and the mitigation method. The login stress value is a health measure function 
of the current failed logins and detection threshold. A value of 100% identifies that the login URL is definitely under attack. We can select any of the past attacks or the ongoing attack to view additional details. In the detection statistics section, we can see the number of failed logins versus the configured threshold and the total number of detected login attempts. And finally, in the mitigation statistics section, we can see the mitigation method that was used when the attack started and ended. And, in this case, the total number of client side integrity challenges. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using a big IP advanced WEF security policy to block distributed brute force attacks. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, Contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.